Welcome back to another episode of Solo Raid Specialist Series. If you are new to the series, I highly recommend you check out the rules of this series in the description of this video. That way it will enhance your viewing experience. On the last prior video, I taught you guys about how I am preparing to get two of the major goals completed for Phase 1, the current phase that we're in. So that was to get this American Spear and also to get 70 Herblur. And in today's video, we're going to be continuing the progress to those two major goals. So one of the things that I want to get done before I actually grind Zami is to get myself a Carol's Top. Before I head back to Barrels, however, I want to go ahead and unlock the 50% bonus runes from Barrels perk by doing the Mauritania Hard Diaries. Just so I can maximize my runes while I'm looking for the Carol's Top. So one of the requirements is to get three watermelon seeds and plant it on Harmony Island. I don't have any, so I was thinking... Why not get the rogue's outfit and get myself three watermelon seeds quickly from the master farmers? I was thinking, yo, we should just go ahead and get the rogue's outfit. It's really quick to get. And plus, I can use it for master farmers for other things like hop seeds and stuff. Because sometime in the future, I will be doing a lot of bird house runs for the bird's nest. So I might as well get it done now. So there's actually a really easy way to figure out which wall safe is going to have your crates. So as long as you find out which wall safe had your first ever crate. So once you know where your first ever crate was, every game after is always going to be the wall safe that is counterclockwise. So where I am right now is where I've originally found my first crate. So all I had to do was on the next game, I just had to go to the wall safe that was counterclockwise to the first one, and then I would get my second crate. If you do happen to fail a wall safe, as in you didn't get anything and you just get kicked out, what happens is the next game, it would just move over to kind of clockwise of that one. So for me, I failed twice. I didn't get anything. So that means the wall save just kept moving over to the seventh one. Because if I didn't fail at all, I would have finished on the fifth wall save that was counterclockwise to the first one. So since I failed twice, I moved to the seventh one. And as you can see, I'll show you right now that this is my fifth crate guaranteed. And it worked. Shout out to my boy Foxy Nights nice for letting me know this information because it's actually really nice. I was able to finish this in less than like 30, 40 minutes and I don't have any thieving for the shortcut. So I decided to go ahead and unlock Fossil Island by doing Bone Voyage to Quest because of two things. The first one, I wanted to unlock it so I can get the Volcanic Ash to make Ultra Compost because if I'm going to farm a lot of seeds, I better have Ultra Compost for my herbs. They're the best way better than super compost and the second reason was i thought i didn't have any mushroom spores which i did in my bank by the way but look i didn't check at the time okay because i was really invested in trying to kill some ancient cycle mates because i checked the wiki and i was like wow they drop mushroom spores like all the time so i was like okay might as well get it done now right so i did that um i locked fossil island so now i can get uh, the ultra compost i'm gonna start working on those soon but yeah, I didn't really need the mushrooms though. Oh hell yeah, next day boys, we're at 59 mining. Still, we got 13 more to go. Oh, hell yeah bro, 147 Dagonauts, mmm. So nothing but the Berserker Ring is actually a mandatory item for phase 1 item requirements. However, Stuff like Archer's Ring, Seer's Ring, and Warrior's Ring, they're all relatively pretty easy to get because it's a 1 in 120 drop. So I think it's definitely worthwhile to go ahead and get those other rings because these rings are best in slot and I can use them for all types of PVM purposes from training to bossing. So even though I won't be using them at raids besides the Berserker Ring, I'll definitely be using it everywhere else, you know, to help make the phase 1 and phase 2 grinds better. I would say they're definitely worth getting because it shouldn't take too long so it'll be worth it. So with my current stats and the current gear that I have, it's actually pretty effective against the Diagonoth Kings. So I have a Trident for Rex and Blood Spells to heal off of Rex when I am low on HP. And that's my main source of life points for Diagonauts. And the Blowpipe that I got from Zora is helping tremendously here as I'm actually able to kill Prime at a fairly good speed to the point that I can do each of them once per cycle which is perfect and Supreme is pretty easy as long as you have something like a whip so my main gear is tank gear because tanking Spinal Lips is 
the most important thing, reducing damage and reducing the amount of prayer drain that they do because all of their attacks are based off your ranged defense. So you don't even need any magic defense at all for them. Oh, I'm a battle staff. Yo, first prime kill, dude. Holy shit. Nice, dude. That's actually really nice to, to get early on. Oh, baby, dude. It was a good choice to do some DKs. The imbue heart is super nice here. Not only am I getting extra damage with the trident, I'm also able to cast Blood Barrage. I normally can't because of my low magic level, but with the boost, I'm able to cast Blood Barrage about, I would say, 80% of the time so far at this level. But yeah, super useful. I can kill Rex a bit faster. Blitz is pretty slow compared to Barrage, so yeah, just being able to speed up the kill and keeping up with the rotation is really handy. Oh, Berserker Ring! Oh no! Already got that one though. Oh, it's good though, it's good. I got my Berserker Ring, that's a placeholder. Circle, okay. Alright. Oh! So, I did a lot better than I anticipated with this stat and gear at Dagonoth Kings. I managed to get over a hundred kills with this setup for my first time, right? So, this is really nice. I can definitely do a bit better next time because uh, you know, I now know kind of the nuances of what DKs is like with this uh, lower level gear and stats. But I'm definitely going to try to get the rings the next time I come back to this task. So I'll be doing Dagonoth Kings until the rings are obtained. It will definitely be worth it. They're such a short grind, relatively speaking. Yay, Kusan. Okay, let me test and see if I can actually build this stash with the Crystal Saw. It works! Yes, that's awesome. Oh, there we go. 93 hit points. Alright. Sunny attack. I forgot to mention that I would love to get 92 magic before the Zemi grind because with 92 magic I can cast Blood Barrage and heal off the minions during Zemi trips so I can stay there longer and get more kills. Now I could bring in Bew Heart and Boost but that would cost me inventory space. So by the time I get to Zemi, hopefully with the Abyssal Demons and like Dust Devil Taz that I barrage off of, I hopefully will have 92 by then. If not, you know, it's, it's okay. I'm probably not gonna like push it. Oh nice, I got a clue scroll from it too as well. Oh my god, I actually hit a 61? Jesus Christ, the lead battle axe buff from a while ago is uh, absolutely monstrous. Nice, hit a pretty good milestone here. We got a 60 mining and now I can enter the mining guild, although nothing's really going on over there for me. Uh, 12 more levels to go. Alright, so I'm gonna install my first teleport. Uh, we're gonna do the Kairos one because that's a diary requirement anyway, so I have to do that. So, wait, are you telling me I, I literally don't have to fight anything and I just finished a hard to. Oh, nope, never mind. Fuck, man, I literally got all the way to the end. Hey, that was so easy, dude. Oh my god. Whoa, I forgot you can get watermelon seeds here. Damn, YOLO though. Don't need it no more. Alright guys. Unfortunately, my watermelon died and I don't have any seeds, but... I was too busy, you know, trying to do the other stuff for the diaries. But look, look, I got this Resurrect Crops. I'm gonna use the Imbue Heart at 98 or 99. It's about like 75% chance to resurrect this bitch. So please. Is yes, yes, RNG is with us tonight, boys. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna ch make sure I check back at it in, in like down in ten minutes or something. Okay, just gotta harvest the watermelon, and that's it. Everything's done. All the way to the medium, all the way to the hard. Ooh, nice, awesome. That's just straight upgrades. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? Put it on herbaler, of course. That's just how how we do. On the Iron Man mode, by the way. And I should be able to use this. Yes, 15,000. Do I get a level? Wow, 4.5k. But it's okay. Mortainer legs, boys. Ah, oh, so nice. So the Mortainer Hard Diary is one of the few diaries I'm going to be working on for this account. And now I get 50% runes from barrels, number one. And number two is the Bone Crusher. It's really nice. Great for Catacomb tasks and overall Slayer tasks. So that is dope. 
And I'm on some other things, but they're not as important. Alright, just hit 61 mining, and I think that's a pickaxe, right? Dragon pickaxe? I'm not going to be getting it yet until much later on phase 2, but I've been looking at my nuggets and I've almost at 100. I can pretty much buy myself a coal bag, which is really good for smithing trading in the future, so I'll probably get that soon. I'm almost to 79 attack, so I might as well include this person here that is maging with really interesting gear setup. He's got like some strat going on. You can see that mage gear. But at the same time, what's up with the Odium Ward? You know, that's negative magic bonus. So, for all I know, it could be a YouTuber doing some really weird limitation series. You never know. You might be asking, why not do Necrals in the Catacombs instead of here? Well, the Catacomb Necrals have a weird drop table. They don't drop that much seeds, and I need seeds like crazy. I'm like full-time farmer right now. So, these Necrals are definitely the place to be right now for my purposes. Oh, just got 88 Slayer, boys. There it is. 88 Slayer out of 93 for a call necklace. Alright. Not bad. It's gonna take a while for the next one, though, but, uh, 456k to the next one. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's just the, uh... Oh, Xerx Talisman! Let's get it. Oh my god, yes. The Xerx Talisman is mine, boys. Ooh, baby, that's nice. Alright, man. I, I've been wanting that one. Second task, and I got it, dude. Not bad at all. Alright, now my transportation around uh, Zaya won't be as scuffed anymore. So, that's really, really nice. Here's the spoils. We got 900k worth of stuff, but uh, I think it's like 600k worth of axe this time. So, the Xerx Talisman is actually a huge upgrade to my farming efficiency because... The Xerx Talisman not only has a lot of teleports, one of them teleports you almost next to the Hosidius farming patch if you use the Glade teleport. And the fangs are pretty easy to upkeep because I am doing shaman tasks, I get a bunch of them looking for the Warhammer. So this is amazing. I can now access one of the best hurt patches, guaranteed uh, to not die, in the game within a matter of a few seconds. So, awesome. Die, scrub. Give me that. What is that? Hard clue scroll? Hog, mate. I like that. Oh, episode whip. Yo, nice, nice. So having extra whips is pretty nice because I could use them for tentacle whips for TLB in the future when I go for the defender. And also I can use it at Ohm uh, as it is a bit better than the Hosta. So if I do have extra, I'll definitely use it at rates to get some nicer rates. Next. Oh, a ferret skirt. Ah, dang it, man. Oh, that's, uh, it's, it's nice. You know, but I already have one, though. I, I already have one, damn. Oh, a carols. No, I got the carols. But the wrong carols. Oh, no, I have that, too. So, I'm gonna start doing some farm runs now because the Xerx Talisman is definitely motivating me. And I'm going to show you all the seeds I got right now. So pretty much all these seeds that I do have now is from Slayer. I have some really good seeds saved up, like over 80 plus Snapdragons, a few Renar seeds. And I'm going to save all the higher level herbs until I get to higher farming and also Ultra Compost unlock. So that way I can get as much herbs from those seeds as possible. I'm going to start planning the easier to obtain seeds like Aerith and stuff just because I don't have to worry about milking every herb that I get out of these seeds since they're pretty common anyways. So the Zami Spear grind and the Sunday Herbaler grind is going to take quite some time because each one of these grinds require other things that I need to complete. So Zami, I gotta get the carriage top and build up the combat stats. And also for herb farming, it's gonna be an ongoing process where I try to unlock various different things to make the farming better like today i got the glade teleport from xerix talisman and we're still working on the uh, ongoing mining effort to unlock a new patch and also better teleports to the trollheim patch as well so anyways that's gonna be it for me many thanks for watching and i will see you guys later bye bye